In Congress, both the House and the Senate make their own rules on how they will go about creating laws. In the Senate, one of the most talked about rules is the filibuster. The filibuster is a tactic used in the Senate to delay or stop a bill from getting passed. Typically, this tactic is when a senator refuses to end debate by getting up and speaking for as long as they want in order to prevent a bill from coming to a vote. If those opposing a bill refuse to stand down and stop their filibuster, the filibuster can be stopped if 60 out of 100 senators decide to end debate and come to a vote. This is what is called cloture. Although the filibuster is commonly used in the lawmaking process in the US, it was not always used so liberally, and on top of that, it did not always exist. Prior to 1806, the US Senate had a simple process to pass bills. This process included a step called previous question, or PQ for short. Previous question was the process of ending debate and coming to a vote by a simple majority of senators agreeing to do so. In 1806, Vice President Aaron Burr suggested that they do away with this rule, therefore allowing unlimited debate in the U.S. Senate. Eventually, senators would abuse the lack of the previous question rule by continuing debate on a bill for as long as possible. This political tactic eventually became known as the filibuster. From 1806 to 1917, there was no way of ending a filibuster if senators refused to stop debating. What happened was that during World War I, former President Woodrow Wilson became frustrated that the Senate would not vote on legislation that would arm merchant ships with weapons to defend themselves during the war. A few anti-war senators succeeded in blocking the bill, tying up the Senate for 33 days and blocking other important legislation from passing. Wilson urged the Senate to make a closure rule, and the Senate did just that. The new rule stated that the Senate can end debate with a two-thirds vote in favor of invoking cloture. Over the years, however, the use of the filibuster only continued to rise. In 1975, the Senate changed its rules again to where in order to end the filibuster, the Senate will need to vote three-fifths of senators in favor of cloture. One more type of filibuster that hasn't been mentioned in this video is the silent filibuster. A silent filibuster is when at least 41 senators threaten to filibuster a bill. This could be enough for the Senate Majority Leader to not even call a vote for the bill. The filibuster is not used for all things in the Senate, however. For example, the filibuster can be eliminated by using what is called the nuclear option. The nuclear option is when a simple majority of senators agree to eliminate the use of the filibuster for certain things such as Supreme Court nominees. Political Minute out.